Hello my friends, John LaRuvi here with another Unbiased Unboxing, and in this episode we're going to take a look at Origins, the first builders. Alright, let's see what's inside this box. And as usual folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already so you can build up my fan base. So, interesting looking front artwork, which is good, but the, my favorite thing, once I remove this, carefully is that you can see the game set up on the back, which is nice. It's always important, I think, to see what you're buying and you see the, the board layout plus some close-ups of different things. It tells you the components. Um, I like it, I like that setup. So we're good to begin based on that. All right. Of course, this one uh, has the solo mode by David Turtsey himself, and so that immediately catches my eye as I am an avid solo player. Now, beginning the box opening here, nothing special inside the box, but I'm immediately greeted with these bright, colorful plastic pieces here, which have the different dice denominations on them, one through six, and they look cool. I like that. And perhaps the different player colors. I'm uh, not sure 100%. Probably, though. It is a one to four player, so that's impossible. So it cannot be the player colors. My guess, at least. We have all these colorful die, or dice, pardon me, colorful dice that match. They have square corners here, which means they're not going to roll around as much. They are just going to lay flat where they are. So. If this is one of those games where the dice being rolled a lot, that will stop them in their tracks. If it's one of those games where the dice uh, denote the um, strength, so to speak, of what you're doing, then that'll be a little bit different and it'll be easier to keep them in place. They won't roll around. Okay, what else we have here? We have some green plastic pieces here. Look like they're dice holders. Dice will probably fit right in there nicely. Then we have the four player colors. Here we go. These green, uh, I'm sorry, these, these plastic statues here. Everybody still has their arm. That's good. <laughs> and okay, so yeah, we have dice holders for each of the four colors. All right. And the black. Then we have some wooden discs. Bunch of bags, which is important. You gotta be able to bag your components. I appreciate it when companies throw those in. These are a bunch of wooden discs associated with the colors of the dice. We have four white dice here and a pack of small cards. I don't know if these are the small USA or the small Euro, but they are small. Probably the small Euro, my guess. Quality wise, let's see what we got. All right, they have a nice texture, medium thickness. You probably won't need to sleeve these if you aren't a sleever. Um, I'm a sleever, so I'm going to sleeve them. We've got the constellations over there. Then we have what looks like certain goals, maybe, with a 12 and a 7 on there. First to do this, second to do this, that sort of thing. Um, different colors. Lots of those. And then one, two, three, four on what you can do. Little player aids. All right. Rules next. Pretty big rule book here. So those were motherships. All right, we've got good decent amount size text there, so it's not gonna be too bad. Wordy wise, there's the setup. Here's our key concepts. That's good, they kind of explain that right out of the gate. Tells you what you're looking at, helps you to understand it. And then playing the game, Decent amount of examples, too, so that'll be good to actually learn the game. All right, skipping to the end here, end of round. Oops. End of the game scoring, and then solo training mode. Hopefully it's more than training. You win if at the end of the uh, fifth round you get at least 180 points, plus 20 more for each above the conditions you met. So looks like it is a beat-your-own-score, but usually Tertsy does some kind of automa, maybe not in this case, but we'll see. 
we'll see. Don't know exactly how that is flowing in this case. But anyway, there's that. Now we have the board. This board looks to be quite large. Something the camera. I wouldn't say quite large. It's just large in font size, I guess. I have it upside down, lovely. But you get the picture there. Pretty functional, colorful. Should be easy to learn and play. They stuck these on the back, meaning they must have decided they needed just a few more um, one money tokens because there weren't enough here. And I can kind of see, it's funny they didn't, even print, they didn't print three of them there. So, oh well, at least they uh, figured that out, got that squared. Cardboard wise, this is medium thickness. Here's our player boards. Outward looks good. We have another one of these right here. And then we've got, let's see, some farms and then all sorts of other things in the back. Obelisks and statues and gate passages and healers uh, mansion and mage towers, etc. So all doing different things. A whole nother sheet of those. And finally, another sheet of those, all with farms on the back. So lots of different um, buildings in this game. And that's about the size of it from the component standpoint. So hopefully you enjoy what you saw. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. And I hope that whatever you play in the future, you have a great time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.